Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make teriyaki chicken and chow mein. You guys asked me for more dinner combos and of course the teriyaki chicken recipe if I can get it out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are interested in making this recipe for your families or your loved ones, please keep watching. Just make sure that you guys are checking the description area because there's a lot of details about the teriyaki sauce and I know some of you guys miss the sweetness. Well, I'm going to talk to you guys in the description area on how you can achieve a teriyaki sauce and still be part of the crown. You ready? Who's ready? You guys ready? Ready, ready. Kyle's ready. We're all ready. <laughs> all right, friends, before we get started, I wanted to share with you guys that I do homemade recipes. I don't have your culinary experience for you to judge me that way. Judge me as a home chef cooking for their family. Also, all the details here are going to be in your description area. If there's any adjustments you need to do, I'm going to leave it in detail for you. The more you ask me questions, the more I know to add there. So now that I've given you this great speech, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're proud oh, of your yeah. speech. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you sometimes, Claude. <laughs> to my cup of water, I am going to add my soy sauce and use whatever you have at hand. Now that I look at it, you guys already know, I go really small when I need something bigger, so give me a second. DJ, small please. <laughs> this is gonna work out perfect, you guys, because this is my mother-in-law's teriyaki recipe from her little black book that we have, her recipe book, so this is, this is our uh, family heirloom. What else does she have in that little black book? Girl, she has a Mexican casserole that, being Mexican, I was shook, but I wonder if it tastes good. We should try it, guys. You try I've it? never tried it. I have never, I don't know why I've never tried it. Okay, so there's a few recipes that we haven't tried from that book, but let's get back to this. All right, now that we have this wonderful dish, and you know the story behind what's going on, <laughs> let's continue. I'm gonna go ahead and add my, uh, my chopped garlic. And you guys are gonna understand what make it comfortable for your home means. I'm out, yes I know, I'm out of fresh ginger. You wanna use fresh ginger, and if you don't have it, use some powder ginger, okay? Making it comfortable for my home today. Every so often I run out of ingredients, I'm human. But it definitely does taste way better with the fresh one. And then I'm gonna add my vinegar. And it's rice wine vinegar. If you guys don't have that, make it comfortable for your home. My sugar. My bouillon. All right, who bullied you? Because you said make it comfortable for your own home four times already. Girl, they're, com did they're coming for me. They're coming <laughs> for me, you guys. And I'm just, I'm just a humble human cooking for her family and sharing the way that I do things. Like I say, there is, there really isn't that many right and wrongs, mm -hmm. but. I've been that person that I want to make something and I'm missing one ingredient and I don't think someone should stop you because you don't have that one ingredient. I agree. You know? Yeah. It's like if I was missing a leg, would I would I not try and walk? I sure would. Yes, that's I'd right, be using girl. my cane, I'd be using my things, I'd get it done. So that's how I see life. Now we're gonna add our sesame seed oil and I love that stuff. Give that a good mix. And this is the start. Okay, if you guys don't have, uh, for your bouillon, you can use a vegetable one, you can use your chicken one, whatever you have at home, it should work for this recipe, okay? I should have that black map. Don't you know that she's taking names today? Go fly yeah. some more. Go fly some more ash flat. All right, friends. Now, what I did is I marinated my chicken in the same thing that I just made for you guys right here. I used that marinade for my chicken overnight. So you guys already know, 24 hours, Amazing. 12 hours, you're good. One hour, you're rushing to feed your family and oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's still gonna be it's good. It's gonna be good. The thing is that you can pre-marinate these, keep them in the refrigerator 24 hours and then put them in your freezer. Boom, done. Cause you guys know when that school season comes in and you're like, what am I making? Take it out in the morning, defrost it by the evening time and you're set. So now that you guys have these steps, let me go ahead and take you over to the stove so we can get started on our chicken, okay? Girl, remember when your kids were obsessed with Frozen? Let it go, let That's, it go. You know what? That's the only way I used to call Viola. I had to buy the album when we were at Disneyland and he knew it was a Disneyland like album. Like, Girl, not an album, I'm so, I'm so old. I mean the CD guy. I was getting ready to break up with you during the, the Frozen thing. I couldn't go in your car, I was fed up. 
Yeah. What was the song? Dun, 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 dun. It was like I was hearing it in my sleep. I don't in even the know shower. the song anymore. I oh was on God. conference call singing the song. Like it was, I couldn't. I, I needed to take two days off. You guys me. love Frozen, <laughs> and you, you guys love Frozen. Bless your heart. That got me through so many tantrums. Shout out to Frozen. Oh Ooh. yeah. <laughs> your parents know what I'm talking about. But there better not be the second part or a third. You know what? I love how empowering that movie was for women. Okay, fine. I hope okay. that there's a that saga. We need more. Okay. We need more. Well, we don't need any <laughs> anyone to save us. We don't need anyone to save us. We can save ourselves. Girl, I almost needed to save you right now. <laughs> you know what? You know I get excited when I cook. Quit <laughs> <laughs> playing. <laughs> All right, friends. Get a nice little saucepan, whatever you have handy. Preferably a nonstick because with the sugar and the soy sauce, it gets crusty. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to start, um, I'm going to bring this on a medium, medium high heat just till it brings to a boil and then I'm going to turn it down to like a low and it'll transition to a simmer. What I'm doing is I just want to thicken this delicious sauce. Okay, remember if I see any kind of things that you guys might have complications that I just already know how to do naturally, I'll make sure to put it right underneath um, the ingredients and it's gonna say teriyaki sauce okay got it you know what I'm so proud of all the ladies that are starting their family starting to cook or even you guys moving out on your own because the gentlemen are bringing it I said you guys we hardly have any gentlemen all of a sudden you guys are everywhere shout out to my boy Brian Romo he loves me you guys see him and I love him back thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you we have a whole community of people we have LGBTQ plus we yes. have grandpas we have grandmas um, we have young kids, aspiring chefs. Like, it's so awesome to see all that in the comments. You know what? That makes me so happy because I would hang out with just about anybody. Like, no matter what your walk of life is, as long as we meet in the middle and respect each other, that's what I'm about. Except for the lady that told you that your girls were using your chicken bag. <laughs> well, she didn't come around, too. I think she was confused. I, I really don't know. Half the time... Sorry, you guys. I've been making fun of Steph all day about chicken and chicken bags. She has, like, how, how would I... Why would I do that to my babies and my family that I love? It just I, like here's the thing, guys. Cloud, I even there's a lot of things I'm like, Cloud, can I recycle this? And my niece, because sometimes I can be an airhead, and they're like, No, Steph, you gotta wash it and then recycle it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the exact voice. Didn't they you give learn me. anything in science, bro? <laughs> Seriously. All right, guys. If you guys are at this part of the recipe, we definitely do talk a lot. So if this is not your cup of tea, just take the recipe down below, and we'll see you on the next one because. It's summertime, I'm chatty, I'm here. It's my birthday month, hey! Woo, woo. <laughs> but I'm noticing, I'm noticing why a lot of people are terrified of cancerians. Why? Because they're scaring the, out of me. Really? And yes, behaviors are wild. I love and I, I think I'm very tamed. Really? And it also has to do with my ascendings and my other, you I know, think you've watched too much true, true crime where, girl, <laughs> the zodiac signs is kind of scary. Yeah, they really, they really are like terrifying and that's just not who I am. Guys, I'm very, very tamed. I really have worked so hard on myself that I just don't get triggered by nonsense. Acknowledge, move it along. Good on you. Okay, so we're going to put this down to um, a low heat now that I got a boil going on and I'm going to switch out so that I can put my uh, chicken on that pan. And there's going to be a little production where you guys are not going to see certain things, but they're still working in this kitchen. All right. Okay. Got it. All right, friends. You guys already know I brought this one out for this. It's going to give it the nice little grooves. I'm excited. So let me go ahead and start putting our chicken. You can make this with whatever piece of chicken you want, okay? Alright friends, you see how loud that is? I'm going to go ahead and rearrange here so that we can get to our next step while I cook this chicken, okay? I need to put a shield over it. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get wild. Some of us don't like crazy. Some of you don't, so I'm going to just scoot that chicken to the side. Apparently I have an accent again. She gets an accent when she's frying chicken. <laughs> frying, cooking. 
Hey, hey, hey. I love that southern twang. Let's see, can I find my little piece in here? Yeah, we can make it happen. Hello and welcome to Views on the Road. Today I'm going to show you how to open this bolsita de maruchan, the struggle sopa. And even if you're not struggling, it's still the sopa that you want to go to. Make sure you get everything out. Three packs in here. And I'm going to add this little spice packet it comes with. One, just one. Mom, shout out to you for making these wonderful meals growing up. I appreciate you, your daughter. Guess what she's talking? We'll never know, Mom. We're gonna add some water, hot boiling water. Be careful. Cloud is actually the best helper I've had ever. She's been my only helper actually, but I just want to tell her that she's great. And she does talk a lot, but that's okay. You can just cover it all the way to the top. The amounts will be in the description box. Break up your noodles. Four packets. Four minutes. Three or four minutes, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Three to four minutes just till it gets soft, you guys. All right, she's back. That was fun. That was a lot of work for me. Really? Yes. I think you did an excellent job. I like my cushy job from behind the, behind the camera. <laughs> now for our sauce that we're gonna need for our chow mein, the way that I'm making it, your favorite chow mein. Okay, friends, if you guys wanna make it just like I'm making it, I really like this uh, oyster sauce. I know there's a Lee brand um, also that has an oyster sauce that's really good that I see a lot at my uh, local grocery store. You can use that. I get this one at our international Asian markets. And if you guys can't find that, I'm sure Cloud would be happy to add a link for you guys in the description area. Yep, I got you guys. And this is called Shaoxing Rice Cooking Wine. For real? Yep. Yeah. Well, how come you said it like you knew what you were saying? Because I always try to say it, but I don't even know oh. if I'm saying it right, but I love it. We have people watching us all the way from China. Yes, I love you guys. She really does. She's trying to plan. Yeah, we trip. had a friend on IG make um, an agua chile in China. Thanks. Okay. And then you can add a little bit of sesame seed oil in here. Okay, give that a good stir. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna start making our chow mein and I'm gonna check on my chicken real quick. So I'll see you guys on a walk so we can walk it out. Walk it out. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. Oh man, I was dancing. Sorry. You were already ready to <laughs> start your dancing, huh? All right, friends, the chicken's done, set to the side. The teriyaki is done. We just need to do one more step to it for it to be right where we want it. And we're ready to walk this out, okay? I have my wok on a high, on a high heat. Um, I chopped some, I chopped some onion, finely chopped. Just chop it up however you need to to mask it for the people that don't want it because once it gets cooked, you can't really see it. And some coarsely chopped cabbage. It's not Mexican style chopped, it's coarsely chopped. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a lid on this for about two to three minutes until it softens up. All right, it's been about a minute and a half and I'm just giving this a quick little turn so I can get the ones that are still fresh on the top to come down to the bottom for us, okay? I'm 
I'm not a walk master yet, but I'll, I'll show you guys how to walk it out. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Just for that, I'm not going to send you a walk video today. Oh, you're not? Okay. <laughs> well, I was thinking of alternating my walk, but this one did so well, so why should I get another one? So I just kept it. I'm not on the prowl anymore, guys. But I will say this to you guys. I really love walking it out. <laughs> <laughs> So now you want to add your um, your celery and your chopped onions, your green onions, and your carrots. I used a mandolin just to slice them up really thin, make them super easy for the babies to eat. So they're just thin. You can chop these however your family likes them. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Yeah, just the simple veggies, right? Yeah, it sounds delicious. You guys are um, watching your, your diet, so you can just have this on its own and you should be good. So beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna add my noodles. And once I add my noodles, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce blend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna itemize all of these things that we did today, this whole recipe into separate little items depending on the dish, okay? So it's easier for you guys to see in case you just want the chicken, in case you just want the chow mein. It's gonna be easy for you guys. Yeah, now you're talking to me, baby. What other noodles can you use in place of the ones that we used here? Whatever noodles you guys have at home. You think udon noodles would be good in here? Mmm, I have such a thick. They're really thick. Um, but if that's all you have and you want to try it, come back and let us know how it worked out for you. Okay. Let me get my uh, other tongs real quick. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that my noodles spread well with all my ingredients. The celery is so good in this mix. It really is. Bebe is like, I don't like celery. I say, you like it when you eat chow mein. He's like, what? Oh, from Panda? Mm -hmm. He told me that uh, yesterday. He said, you know, you know that the Panda noodles have, it has a uh, celery. I said, uh, that might be one <laughs> They come and tell me all their conversations they have with you. Do they? Yeah. Well, They're so funny. Them. If you guys don't like that many veggies, I get it. But I definitely encourage you to add more veggies, especially when you're gonna eat your noodles. This is a wonderful time to incorporate those in your body. You guys are asking me how my skin's looking so fresh. Well, it's not a secret. You gotta eat fresh. You have to eat more vegetables. The vegetables, each individual vegetables has more nutrients than you can imagine. So just combine a good flow of vegetables um, through your weekly diet and you're gonna see the difference. Because it's not about, there's no cream that's gonna make it better for you guys. It's about what you're putting into. So, these noodles are done. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Only a slight mess. I'm human. So, I'm going to set these to the side and show you guys what we're going to do with our teriyaki sauce. I've had my teriyaki sauce on a simmer for the past uh, 15 minutes or so. And you're going to notice that if you don't add a lot of sugar... It's not going to thicken up. And I don't want to tell you guys the exact amount. I want you guys to go in the description area and find out for those of you that like the sweet teriyaki sauce. And for those of you that can't have it so sweet, doesn't mean you can't have teriyaki sauce. Just limit your sugar and do this next step. So I have two tablespoons of water and the cornstarch. These measurements are going to be in your description area, you guys. Turn it off because if you cook it anymore, you're going to end up burning your sugar in here. And we don't want burned sugar teriyaki. So I'll see you guys in just a moment when I plate this deliciously for you. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, guys, I know this is a cooking chopstick, but I'm just a Pee Wee Herman type of person. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is how you make uh, your favorite chow mein and teriyaki chicken. So let's go ahead and give all of this a taste because you know I'm going to go for the noodles and then indulge. And you know I'm going to go for that close up. Mmm. Yes. I like to serve a little bit of the extra teriyaki sauce on the side so that way you guys can balance out your sweetness and your sugars and still enjoy. I know you guys don't think I'm gonna eat all this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud and I are gonna share this plate. We already had our agua frescas, but you guys know I like tasting food and eating, so. Yeah, no te pases, that's your last bite. Okay, okay, okay. Ay, que rico está. That is so good. It smells good, the house smells amazing. If you guys like my videos, make sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. I get so excited. For those of you that come every day, I get excited with those of you. I know some of you are busy and you guys can't make it, but I appreciate you guys coming here and um, hanging out with me. I love reading your comments. I love receiving pictures of the recipes that you guys have made. Um, I'm a little bit backed up on views on the road, so I haven't really been checking my inbox. It's overwhelming. But if you guys want to be part of the views club, uh, you guys got to check that password on the golden milk on how to make golden milk uh, recipe video. And I personally put the comment down below. It's not the main one that's pinned. It's another one. And that is your password to get into the Instagram views club. There's what? a lot of giveaways. I was gonna say, why should they join? There's a lot of giveaways. We have a lot of laughter and it's just positivity and like-minded people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like it. Cause Cloud and I share that account. Like you guys never know who you're talking well, to. Well, I do tell people when it's me. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Well, I need to get better at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Not on the next one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.